hello and welcome back so now we have the player movement added now the next thing is to add the gravity and also jump into our player if you see right here we can't jump if we press the space button and when we walk right here as you can see our player is in the air so we actually don't want that we want to apply gravity to our player as I told you in the start that the character controller doesn't have any gravity we need to add gravity by ourselves. so open up the player script first of all let's declare all of the variables so in the header which is player animator and gravity create a public float by the name of gravity and this will be equals to minus 9 point 81 f which is the gravity number and then we will create another public actually let's just leave this for now and right here in the player jumping and velocity we will now assign it right here so first of all we need a variable for our jump range so we will say public float jump range and the range will be 1f after that we need a vector 3 for the velocity and then we need a reference to our surface check so right here we will say public transform surface check and then we need a bool to check if we are on the surface or you can say on the ground or not so we will simply say on surface and then we will create a float by the name of surface distance and it will be 0.4f after that we need a reference to our surface layer mask so we will say public layer mask let's name this as surface mask so right here in the update we will say on surface this will be equals to physics dot check sphere and in here we will pass the surface check position so we will say surface check dot position and then we will pass the surface distance and then the surface mask and this will basically check if the player is on the surface or in the air okay then right here we will say that if we are on the surface or you can say on the ground and the velocity dot y is less than zero then what we want to do we simply want the velocity dot y to be equals to minus 2f and then let's set the gravity so we will say velocity dot y will be plus equals to gravity and we are going to multiply that by delta time and then we will use the and now we want to move the player in the air so we will say velocity multiply by time dot delta time Now let's save this, get back to Unity and right here we have the variables, okay. First of all, let's add the surface check. So we will create an empty game object. Let's name this as surface check. And as you can see right here, it is by default set to the player feeds and in your case if it is not set to the player feeds then you can just simply drag and drop it down to the player feeds okay and now 
let's drag and drop that right here in the surface check and now we need to assign the surface mask so if we select our ground okay this terrain you can select your own terrain if you are using some other map and right here we will click on add layer let's add a surface layer now let's click on our terrain again and assign the surface layer okay let me now minimize that click on the player and right here we will assign the surface mask or you can say surface layer then our jump range is already set up by the script and now if you play the game you will notice that gravity will be applied to our player let's go inside debug mode so you can see the values right here as you can see uh, as we typed in the code right here we are checking if we are on the surface and also the velocity is less than zero then we want the velocity y to be minus 2 f and if you check right here our velocity on the y is minus 2 f okay so it means that yes we are on the surface now let's move forward as you can see this is our trunk arm velocity changing now let's go down okay as you can see now as you can see we are on the surface right here we were on the stairs so that's why the tick was disappeared from there but when we come right here on the surface it just takes it back in okay so now gravity is applied to our player now the next thing which we need to do is to add the jumping when we press the space button we want to jump and as you can see we already have created the variable which is jump range and also we have added the velocity and the gravity to the player now in the next video we will allow the player to jump so catch you guys in the next one